That's good news. Thank you very much indeed, Carol. Thanks. Now, when tickets for Taylor Swift's Eras tour went on sale last year, it crashed websites. It led to sold-out hotels in host cities around the world. And this week, she kicks off the UK leg. She finally arrived. Finally After arrived. All that, are you excited? I'm very excited. I am going, yes. I'm You've very excited. You've got a excited. ticket. Managed to get a ticket. Now, an hour ago, uh, Ben challenged Sarah to see whether she could uh, identify a Taylor Swift song from a couple of bars on a piano. Which I did. Which you did. You got it absolutely correct. I did. So, as we go back to Ben in Liverpool to talk about the economic benefits of Taylor Swift coming to the UK, <laughs> let's see if Taylor, uh, Taylor, <laughs> Sarah can make it two out of two. Let's listen. Sarah, name that tune. Shake it up, isn't it? Yes. Oh. Two out of two. And I bet you'll be tapping your feet along to this. Uh, the chorus is coming up in a minute, don't you worry. But yeah, I'm joined by the Rock Choir this morning. They are among the many people here in Liverpool preparing to give the warmest of welcomes to Taylor Swift and her tens of thousands of fans who will be arriving in just over a week from now for those three sold-out gigs at Anfield Stadium. Taylor's just finished uh, in Lyon last night. She goes up to Edinburgh at the weekend and then the tour comes here to Liverpool, bringing an echo economic boost to the city with it. We'll be hearing about that in a moment, but first, before we hear the choir sing a little bit more, here's a little look at how Liverpool is gearing up to welcome Tate. Pop stars and murals don't get much bigger than this. With Taylor Swift fans coming from all over the world to Liverpool, the fully booked Phoenix Hotel is even renovating rooms to welcome as many as possible. We've got people coming from different cities that haven't actually got tickets, they just want to experience what Liverpool is about and get the, you know, the vibe and all the different things that we're doing in the city. It's attracting people, just want to be here and experience it with us. From the moment Swifties arrive here in Liverpool, or Taylortown as it will temporarily be known, they'll find a special dedicated information point in there, inside Liverpool Lime Street Station, giving them details of everything that's happening around the city. And as fans step out, perhaps wondering, does Liverpool really love Taylor? Well, the answer awaits them over there, written large across the front of St George's Hall. Artist Bethan is making customised jackets for Taylor mega fans and helping create the installations that will transform the city while the tour is here. I think the whole Taylor Town thing that, that the city is doing is really important because it means that there's going to be loads of people coming to the city who haven't got a ticket and maybe won't be able to go and see it, but there's something th for them to go and see and do and to be able to get loads of selfies and all the different kinds of things that we're commissioning and things that we're building. They'll be able to go to workshops and create things that are kind of Taylor related um, and they'll still be able to have fun and enjoy the time here, even if they're not going to see her. More than 150,000 fans with tickets will be here spending money on everything from hotels to eating out. But is it really a love story across the board for Liverpudlians with life plans? I'm actually getting married in two weeks and none of our family can get hotels because they're all booked up and they've all been booked up for months in advance. So it definitely, definitely does have a positive effect on the, the economy of Liverpool. <laughs> At this restaurant, they'll be shaking things up, not off with a Tays in Town bottomless brunch on gig days. But will the boost to businesses really be beyond their wildest dreams? It's important that we are able to encourage those events to come here to the city, but they do. So the key economic boost to us, we, we plan for that. Uh, as I said, Eurovision 25 million, Taylor Swift will be very similar to that. So it's, it's key, it's, it's critical for the success of the sector in the city and ultimately the success of the city. Whenever Liverpool do something, we always do it big. No matter whether that's like getting dressed day to day or if it's events like this and the, the, the council and all the kinds of teams behind it will always push and, and put the best events on that they can for anyone visiting the city. Also, Scousers are known to be quite friendly and quite welcome and so we love people coming here. We love to get the buzz and the vibe of things going along. So whether it's Eurovision, whether it's Taylor coming, we just love to, to have things going on in the city and to have that excitement about it. Liverpool's all about the music scene, it's all about the, the vibe, the art, um, it's in our blood and I think there's nothing more important than creativity and if we get the chance to bring that to the city and maybe inspire some other people to do the same then that's great. Well I dare say there are some Taylor Swift fans in the city and, and perhaps among the choir we got some Swifties. Yeah. 
I thought so. I thought so. Uh, Sarah, we were chatting earlier, weren't we? You're very excited to yes, have Taylor Swift here. Are you going to the gig? Yes, I am. I've got Night Wonder before, and I'm so excited. Oh, I can imagine. What's it like having her come to your own city? Oh, it's so amazing. I mean, I love Taylor Swift anyway, but to have her in Liverpool, it's such a special city. And for her to come here, it's just incredible. Uh, if you had to pick one Swift song, your favourite? Shake it off. Oh, I think, <laughs> I think some, some of them agree with you on that one, as do I. Sarah, thanks very much. Enjoy the gig. Uh, let's speak to Becky, who is the choir leader. Uh, Becky, what does the presence of a, of a mega star, mega musician like Taylor Swift, have on engagement in music? Um, I think for us, it's really inspiring. Liverpool's such a huge musical city anyway, and to have someone that big come and visit us, and just for us to be able to be involved in the community of it all, and the musical hype going on in Liverpool is incredible. And you might see a few surprises from us next week as well. Oh, um, but we're all very excited, aren't we? We're looking yeah. for yes. Yes, as are we. Thank you very much. And thanks for having the choir with us this morning. Let's look at the economic impact, because that's an important side of this. Um, Steve, you, you know, we've talked in the past about these events, these kinds of events. How does it benefit people when a, a tour like this comes to town? Well, it really is about drawing money in. To be, uh, on a local level, these kind of events can have a really big impact because people are coming from outside the area. They're coming from Manchester, they're coming from York, and they're going to be staying in hotels, they're going to be spending money in restaurants and stuff. So that's all kind of spending that wouldn't have happened if it hadn't been for Taylor Swift coming here. So there's a real kind of impact for these events. We estimated, for instance, with the Grand National, that can bring in about 60 million a year. Eurovision last year brought in about 54 million. So these, these events can have a good local effect. Nationally, not so much, but a local, really positive economic impact. Okay, Steve, thanks very much as ever for giving us that take on it. Uh, as we can hear the choir preparing for those many events they're gonna be taking part in with some rather special vocal warm-ups for Taylor. They're ready. Liverpool's ready. Lovely stuff.